And hey, well, this is Francisco from Wondershare Dr. Phone. And if you're switching between phones or if you just want to keep a backup of your WhatsApp messages, then this is going to be the video for you. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to back up your WhatsApp messages on an Android device. But there will be a video for iPhone users as well. So do make sure to reference that video if you're an iOS user in the future. But with that said, let's go ahead and begin. Let's begin with one of the best solutions for backing up your WhatsApp messages, that being through our own Dr. Phone software. So do make sure to download that first from the link in the description. And once you've downloaded it, just make sure to launch it and then finally click on WhatsApp transfer from here. And then choose WhatsApp on the next window. And then connect your Android device to your computer. And after it is finally recognized, click on backup WhatsApp messages button. And then the Android WhatsApp messages are then backed up pretty quickly from here since they are just messages. And you can now find the backup record and the list right here. And that is pretty much everything that goes into being able to back up your Android messages using Dr. Phone. It really is that simple, which is why I would really recommend that you go with that method instead. And now for this next method, we want to be able to recover our data onto your Android device. And after backing it up, we can still do so by still using Dr. Phone. So go ahead and keep following. So first off, just make sure that you launch Dr. Phone yet again, and the toolkit in this case on your system, and then go ahead and select the data recovery module. Also, do make sure to connect your device to your computer if you haven't already, and then just let it be detected automatically by Dr. Phone. And from the left panel, go ahead and select the recover phone data option. And then here, you can actually go ahead and select the type of data that you wish to recover, and make sure the WhatsApp messages and attachments option is selected before clicking on the next button. And you can choose whether you want to scan all of your data or only the selected content. And then the application will start scanning your device and just wait for a little while for the process to finally be completed. And just make sure that your device does indeed stay connected the entire time to your system until the process is finally completed. And once the scan is completed, all the recovered data will be displayed under different categories. So just go onto the left panel and then select your WhatsApp data. Here, you can actually get a preview of all of the extracted WhatsApp data and then select the messages and the attachments that you wish to save and finally click on recover to computer button. And then now you should have all of your WhatsApp data back onto your device. And in this next method, you can actually back up your WhatsApp messages using WhatsApp itself. Just make sure that you follow these steps. To begin, just go ahead and launch WhatsApp on your phone and then go to its settings, chat, and backup chat in this case. And here you can tap on backup to take an immediate backup of your WhatsApp chats. And furthermore, you can just go ahead and set up the frequency for an automatic backup and adjust other settings as well. And to learn how to restore WhatsApp backup from Google Drive, you have to set up a WhatsApp account as well. Uh, so just make sure to uninstall it and install it back again onto your phone if you're using the same device. And while setting up your WhatsApp account, the device will just automatically detect the previous Google Drive backup and it will provide an option to restore it directly from there. And then tap on the restore button and just wait for a little while as your data would be retrieved. And so not only will you be able to back up your data using WhatsApp with this method, but you will also have full access to restoring it as well. And besides being able to store your messages on the cloud for backup, you can also keep a record locally if you wanted to. And by that, I just mean on your phone itself. And for that, just go ahead and follow these steps in order to access that data. And to access the backup file, just launch the, uh, the file manager slash explorer on your phone. And go to the internal storage, WhatsApp, and databases, or SD card, depending on what you generally use, and WhatsApp databases, depending on where you have saved the backup that is. And then here, you can go ahead and access the backup file right over here. And you can copy the file and paste it on any other device as well, if you really wanted to. And you would have to rename the backup file and then delete the date section from it, and that is, uh, the MSG store YYYY for year, month, and then date dot one dot DB dot crypt 12. And it should be renamed as, as MSG store dot DB dot crypt 12. And then reinstall WhatsApp and commence at the setup process once more. And the backup file will automatically be detected. And just simply tap on the restore button to get your data back from there. And then finally, you should be pretty good to go from here. And that's it. Those have been four methods of backing up your WhatsApp messages on Android.
And if you like this video, just make sure to leave us a like and comment your questions down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this moving forward. And now, until the next video, enjoy.